Hey everyone, Jordi here for Premiere Basics, the most exciting channel to learn everything about Adobe Premiere Pro, which normally is hosted by Jill, but unfortunately he's not feeling well today, so I'm taking over. You're gonna have to do it with this beautiful face. Now today we're gonna take a look at how to create a logo animation like this. And if you're struggling with Adobe Premiere Pro, then I can highly recommend you check out our beginners class. It covers the entire basics of Adobe Premiere Pro in a well-structured and entertaining way. More than 80,000 students have already taken the class and the reviews are overwhelming. Now, because we are among the top teachers on Skillshare, the website where the class is hosted on, I'm able to give new students one month premium membership completely for free. So there's no reason not to check it out. Click the first link in the description down below for for all the information. And now, without further ado, let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro. And the first thing that you wanna do is create a new color mat. This is gonna be your background, so pick any color that you'd like. Mostly black or white are gonna work best. Then drag the color mat into a new empty sequence. And now let's import our logo. Now this right here is a simple PNG file. Now there's a problem that occurs when creating the reflection and the rotation together. And that's why we're going to drag the logo into the new item button, which will create a new sequence with the same dimensions of the logo. And that is gonna be important to get a correct rotation animation later on. Now we're already gonna start with the reflection in here as that needs to rotate as well. But let's create room for that reflection first. Right click on the logo sequence and choose sequence sequence settings. We're gonna increase the height a little bit and then press OK. We can then push the logo to the top with the position property. Next hold down Alt and drag the logo one track higher to make a duplication of it. We're gonna push this duplication down underneath the original logo. Next from the effects library find the vertical flip effect and drag that to the reflection to turn it around, making it a reflection. Next find the crop effect and apply that to the reflection logo as well. Now from the crop effect, we can cut off a piece and feather it a bunch, creating a more realistic reflection. And when this is done, we can go back to the main sequence and drag the logo sequence in there. If needed, scale it down from the motion properties. All right, we've got the basics in place right now. Now let's create that 3D rotation. From the effects library, look for the basic 3D effect and drag it over to the nested sequence, the logo. Now with the swivel property, we can rotate that logo and we're gonna let it start from 90 or minus 90 degrees so that we can't actually see the logo. And then start animation from the stopwatch button. Then go forward in time and let's rotate the logo a little bit and make sure that it over rotates so that we can bounce it back later on. This will make it more dynamic. A new keyframe has automatically been created. Now let's create a third keyframe, a little bit further in time where the logo bounces back to normal. So we've got three keyframes and this is how that looks, which does the job, but it doesn't look good. We're gonna have to smoothen out the animation. You can do this by expanding the property from the left, which will reveal a curve. Now, to make it ourselves easy, we're going to right-click the last keyframe and choose Ease In. And this will create an automatic curve to slowly stop to the last keyframe. And the same can be done with the middle keyframe. But choose Ease Out this time to slowly accelerate the animation. Now, simply pull up the other side of the middle keyframe and bring it to the same level. This will define how the animation from the first keyframe should stop. In this case, it should be very smooth and slowly. Now, this is something that you need to get used to, so practice does really good here. Just remember that the higher the curve from the middle, the faster the animation goes, and the more to the middle it is, the slower. So looking at the curve, you can practically read the speed off from it. All right, go back and forward, play your animation and tweak the curve or even reposition the keyframes until you have something that looks like this. Now it is missing some motion blur. So we're gonna have to fake that with the directional blur effect. Find it in the effects library and drag it to the logo as well. Set the direction to 90 degree because the logo swivels sideways. Then increase the blur length a bit and we're going to create a keyframe right before the logo almost stops swiveling near the middle. Then go a little bit forward and set it to around 2 so that we keep a little bit blur in there. 
then go forward again to increase the blur and finally we're going to set it to zero. Now again, play back the animation and see for yourself if it looks natural and whether or not that you need to make any adjustments to it. And that is how you can make an awesome logo reveal with a reflection. Now this is optional, but you can also add some scribble effects to it. You can download such elements from Storyblocks and with an active subscription, you can download unlimited video assets. So I can highly recommend it. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. You can simply drag and drop one of those elements to the logo animation and that's it. Look how cool this is, guys. Now, if you want to learn how to make such scribble effects yourself using Premiere Pro, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, considering subscribing and enabling that bell icon to get a new and exciting tutorial video right in your inbox every single Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.